Hi everyone, this is Pedro from PyTalist again. So in this video I'm gonna to tell you about a personal push that I've done. So I built a side project where I wanted to do like a full stack application. And the stack that I use for this application includes uh, Docker, uh, Vue.js uh, for front end, uh, MongoDB for the database backend that I hosted in at Mongo Atlas, which hosted in AWS Cloud. I also use um, Azure Storage to uh, store some uh, application files outside of the virtual machine where the Docker file is running. And finally, the back-end API was built in Python, a uh, fast API framework. And everything was running in Docker Compose in a Linux virtual machine. And then I'm, in this video, I'm going to um, explain to you and talk about the story that I went about building this app. And that's really important to work in projects uh, because sometimes when you are learning uh, to program, uh, there is one saying that people get stuck in tutorial hell and they never get to build anything. And then the best thing that you can do to learn is to build projects. And this is just an example of a project that I, I took. Uh, before I go any further, uh, please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Okay, so every, where everything started. So I was learning Python and then I wanted to do some web application and fast API did some tutorials and I also was trying to learn some JavaScript front end framework. And then I did this course in Node uh, that I wanted to learn. And then what was interesting about this course is that this course uh, it teaches us a full stack application using Node, uh, Express and MongoDB. But I thought I found very interesting, but I didn't like uh, Node uh, JavaScript backend. And I know that Python was a little bit more easier. I was more comfortable. And then I thought, uh, why not uh, do exactly the same API that I that I learned uh, on how to do with Node, but I would build the same API, but translate that API back end to fast api and and then i also wanted to build a front end uh, and then in this course uh, the front end they use a framework that's not very well known it's not even a framework framework it's more of a template for html which is called pug but i really didn't like the pug and it was very very cumbersome to configure the files and then I said, okay, I, I picked Vu because people said that the Vu was a very intuitive and very nice to learn. And then what I did is I did this course here uh, about Vu.js. And then, so once I've done the course, I, I knew FastAPI, I knew Python. I, and then I say, how can I put everything together? And I also, I uh, knew how to use Docker from other tutorials. And then I built this app and deployed in a Linux machine. And that was like 18 or 13 months ago. And the app's still working. So uh, I can still log in with a username that I have here. And then it's very functional. Uh, you can go to this link here that I can put in the description. You can create an account, you can reset password, you're gonna receive an email, it's all working. Uh, and then let me put the password, let's see if I can remember. Let's see. Yeah, it's still working. And then I have a basic profile and I have the picture of the profile that I store in uh, Azure um, storage and then you can go to the tours and then you can get the details of the tour and it gets all information and the back end I'm using fast API if you go to the same link and then click docs 
Uh, I think I've uh, I deactivated the tool. I'm, I'm going to run this on my local, and then you 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 will understand how it works. So uh, this is the app. This is the summary. So the there is a back end in Fast API. I have my front end and my database in uh, Mongo Atlas and Azure uh, storage. So if you wanted to understand the code, I've um, I've put a Docker Compose file here with the services. I have a backend service and a front end, and both are in containers. Um, I have uh, the Nature's View container and a Fast API container. If you wanted to understand how the Docker file works, I have the Docker file of the Fast API here. And then I have the Natur's front end Docker file for the, um, the front end, which is here. So you can do it yourself. Uh, and the website is here. I'm going to put uh, the link on the description. But I'm also going to spin up here a terminal. Um, and then I'm going to show you the code. Uh, let me just pull this up. You can see it. So it's in code, uh, not first. Uh, let me see. How did I call it? It's called uh, not first. Oh, it's me. Oh, uh, let me just open. Uh, in VS Code, let me just minimize that one. I'm just gonna drag up here. So, and here's the the, the the project files. So, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to open a terminal window. Let things get started. And in the local, um, I can. So, the way the Docker works is I have a Docker Compose file which points to the images in the um, in files, and then it's as simple as uh, if you look at the README, um, you can just run uh, Docker Compose up. So, and then that's gonna uh, launch the application running on my local. Yeah, I think it's going to be the container. I'm going to fast forward uh, the, the video. So. But if I go to my browser and then I put my local host, so is the front end is using port uh, a, a 80, 85. So that's the uh, front end, but on the production server, I'm just hiding that. Uh, let me see if I have the documentation. Here's the swagger of my API. Here's uh, is all the method of the API. If I go here and get uh, all the tours, which is this uh, is not, can you see those uh, bad locks? Which means that you need to be authenticated to access those posts and delete uh, more admin type like um, uh, endpoints. But this one is free, uh, it's open to anyone. You can go and do a get and then you can um, try it out and then you execute. And what's doing is it's, it's uh, hitting the database and returning a JSON response, which the back end, uh, the front end kind of populates the, this page here. So, so that's basically it. That's the back end and the front end in my local. I think it's in part 80. So if I do local host. Um, and then that's it. And then that's going to be the front end. So this is, I have a version running on my machine. And then I have another version running on the, this Linux server here. So that's basically it about the app.
So um, I'm running on my local. If I wanted to stop, it's like I put Docker Compose. Uh, Docker Compose. Uh, I, am I on the right um, folder? Down. And then that's going to shut down the containers gracefully. It's all shut down. If I do a Docker PS. So I shut down and then if I go this is not going to be working. Of course, is this one. Yeah, this one is gonna fail and that one as well. Cool guys, uh, thanks for watching. So if you have any questions about uh, how the application works, you can see uh, the code for the back end uh, in here. So I have got the application, all the Python code, and all the routes. Um, I built that using uh, MVC architecture. I have the model, the controllers, and the routes, which are what they call the view. Um, and then um, you explore. If you have any questions, you put the comments below. I'm more than happy to explain. And if you really like, I can build a tutorial where I can go step by step on how to build this app. Uh, if I have enough requests, I'm happy to do that. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell. See you next time.